um, called Brenda Kugonza. I'm a feminist activist. I work with the Women Human Rights Defenders Network Uganda. Um, I think for us, uh, if we can see the government of Uganda meet its obligation to fulfill the protection of women human rights defenders, but also to fulfill its obligation to protect the right to defend human rights. That is the future I would like to see, where the, the government uh, provides autonomy to women human rights defenders to defend human rights freely without intimidation, without attacks, without threats. And I think if that, uh, if that happens, for us we think then we'll be able to prosper as a country. Uganda as a society is a patriarchal society that promotes male domination, male domination and uh, female subordination. Growing up in such a context, for me, my work was to begin questioning injustices against girls and women. And that's how I started my work. As a person, I grew up denouncing human rights violations. So it's very difficult for me to point at a particular moment that dro drove me to be a human rights defender. It is because of my life, which was actually characterized by oppression and discrimination, that I started denouncing uh, human rights injustices when I was young. So uh, the first time is when I interviewed, uh, I intervened to support a survivor of uh, domestic violence. Actually, it was a woman experiencing domestic violence, and I went to uh, report a case of abuse against her to the police. And I remember one of the police officers slapping me, saying that I'm breaking, uh, I'm breaking people's families. So for me, that was an eye opener. That even the duty bearers that you think are supposed to protect us were not ready to protect us. That was the first case that I experienced attacks because of doing my human rights work. I think for me the message I have to the UN bodies, the international community, the African Commission for Human Rights, uh, is to ensure that uh, our states actually abide with the international standards. I am glad that uh, different uh, countries are coming up with legislation to protect human rights defenders. Uganda just has a, a bill that is before parliament, which is called the Human Rights Defenders Protection Bill. So I would like to call upon the international community, the UN mechanism, the African Commission, to provide technical assistance to the government of Uganda in enacting this HRD Protection Bill 2020, and also to remind the Ugandan government to review the restrictive laws that are already in place. Engaging at the international community is very helpful for us human rights defenders generally. And my tip to other human rights defenders is to understand that um, international advocacy is a tool. International advocacy is a tool to advancing our human rights work, but also it is a tool that will support us in consolidating our protection as women human rights defenders, but also as human rights defenders. So I would employ, uh, I, would, I would encourage uh, human rights defenders from elsewhere, every part of the country, the world, to really embrace um, this as an advocacy tool, engaging with the UN mechanisms, engaging with other intergovernmental bodies, because that's when we are going to be able to advance our human rights work. We cannot do this work alone without these bodies.